So I just drove over an hour to see the Garfield movie early, and let me tell you, definitely not worth the drive, but if Garfield's playing near you, maybe you're gonna wanna check it out if you're a fan of Letterboxd, because some of the reviews on here were cracking me up and absolutely making me gut bust afterwards, because I think Garfield takes the cake for the most memeable movie of the year. Is the movie good? Not really. Kids gonna like it? Probably. But did I like it? Not so much. I, I found this movie to be kind of a chore to get through, but it was definitely fun to take my sister, who is a massive Garfield fan. We wore matching shirts. She had whiskers. She bought a popcorn bucket there. But as we were watching the movie, it was really just us laughing at the stakes of how this film was developed. And I think even massive Garfield fans will find themselves doing the exact same thing. Kids will enjoy it, like I mentioned. Adults are definitely gonna have a chore to get through. But before I actually like dive into my pros, my cons, and some of the layouts of this, I have to share some of these letterbox reviews. I sifted through with my sister and we had a ball laughing at. Definitely go check it out after you watch the movie or maybe if you don't waste your money watching the movie, definitely just go and read the review. So like, first off, I'll start off with this one. Someone says, and this is not kid friendly, by the way. So if you're a kid, please turn away. If you're an adult watching with your kids, please turn away. Someone says, why is no one talking about the cows fucking? Yes, that, that, that actually, that's actually like one thing primarily that I was like, okay, that, that that's a weird inside joke to have. Alongside that, another person said, Garfield at one point in the movie asked the children to leave the room because he's about to eat lasagna but this person said he asked the children to leave the room so he can fuck the lasagna yeah yeah exactly that and all throughout this there are countless memes on letterbox and letterbox reviews talking about why garfield has a deadbeat dad and so i'll leave this last letterbox review as mine that says just another deadbeat dad leaving a son to get milk there's literally a scene in here where his dad leaves garfield to go get milk like, what? And also, holy shit, Nicholas Holt plays John in here. Like, easily the best voice actor in here. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Definitely leave your thoughts down below on the Garfield movie. Are you excited for this movie? Are you not? I'm really curious to hear if you enjoyed it more than I did or if you just enjoyed the memeability of the film. And with that said, if you don't know what Garfield the movie is about, well, it's about Garfield, the world-famous, Monday-hating, lasagna-loving indoor cat, is about to have a wild outdoor adventure after an unexpected reunion with his long-lost father, Vic. Garfield and his canine friend Odie now are forced from their perfectly pampered life into joining Vic in a hilarious high stake heist. Honestly, I, I just really haven't been that excited for this movie. I like the Garfield comics from back in the day, but I've never really enjoyed any of the, the movies or any other straight to TV movies that they've done for Garfield. I just think they've all been kind of a waste of time. And when they announced that Chris Pat was going to be voicing yet again, another animated character, I honestly rolled my eyes at the fact that that I'm a fan of Chris Pratt. I like him. Uh, I actually didn't mind him in the Super Mario Brothers movie. That was actually kind of a genuine surprise. Not the best voice actor in there, but a genuine surprise. And I like him in Emmett as in the Lego movie. So you expect me to maybe like go, okay, I'll give him a fair shot here. And he's not in my pros, to be honest with you. And if I am to get my pros out of the way, I will say the best part about the movie is actually the animation. At first, the animation did not blow me away. They were going a little bit too modern day with certain things, specifically with a phone and the opening gag just did not jive to me. I, I thought it was very cringy. And as I've stated, kids are going to like this movie. Th that's not going to bother them. But there's just weird little things in there that I'm just like why why is that all in the opening but as the movie played out a lot of the animation actually plays homage to some of the original comics and as a fan of who used to read those in newspapers and whatever you may say I like those I like the animation in here I thought it was gorgeous I thought it was pretty and I liked how it homaged and really much felt like it was coming off the pages onto the screen Alongside that, I will also say I really liked some of the Easter eggs in here as well. Some are minor, some are bigger. They're all a lot of fun to kind of just play around, again, if you know some of the Garfield lore. And with that said, that's about where all my pros lie for an adult to watch this film. Before, the letterbox reviews made this film instantly more hilarious to me. But other than that, I, I found the movie to just be kind of a unbearable to get through at times and I think a lot of that is is that I can watch it I can think it's cute but like for every little thing in here specifically story-wise it kind of frustrated me as an adult and maybe I shouldn't be looking that deep into it so then I try to look okay and as as an adult who maybe wants to show his future kids someday 
would they like this movie? And I think, yes, they would. But I think there's, like, some storylines in here that kind of, like, take it off the road. So, like, I mentioned off the top that, like, his father, at one point in time, leaves him with, like, a milk full, like, a van full of milk. And, you know, Garfield comes to the fruition that, like, oh, like, my dad did that on purpose to protect me. Like, the dad didn't fucking do that. Like, he acts like he did, but he did not. And, like, little things throughout this story really frustrate me. Like, there's literally a deliberate line where he says, I thought we had a deal with the milk van. Like, he knows he betrayed his son. Like, there, there's just, there's just so, there's so many things. This, this movie kind of blew my mind in, like, so many ways. Because then I had to go look, who directed this movie? And the director of this movie was actually the director of, uh, fun fact, the Chicken Little film, who also infamously has one of the worst deadbeat dads also in cinema. And then you have the Emperor's New Groove movie, which I actually really like, the Emperor's New Groove. But the fact that, like, Mark Dendahl made this Garfield movie, like, really just, like, blew my mind once I started diving into his filmography and, like, the parallels that, like, kind of Chicken Little has to Garfield in here, and, like, the fact that, like, Garfield even, like, makes plays at, like, so many pop culture references, specifically Top Gun, which, another Letterbox review I saw where it said, Tom Cruise, is this play about us? Which, if you've seen Euphoria, that meme will also make sense. I just, this movie's not great in terms of story, and, and that was actually one of the things that really didn't surprise me, but, like, I was hoping to get a genuine surprise and come out and say, yeah, that story was actually not that bad. It was actually really good and heartfelt. And I just didn't feel the heartfelt nature of this. It kind of gave me whiplash at times when it came down to, like, when it was trying to hit its emotional avenues. And, and, that, and that's kind of what disappointed me the most. Like, I, I can really, again, just, like, actually getting serious for a second. I can look at this Garfield movie for what it is. It is a movie made for kids to watch. And that's about it. But I fully believe that animation is not just for kids to watch. It is for adults to learn and also sit there and enjoy as well. Animation is used for all mediums of film. And, you know, the the purpose of this film was probably to introduce kids to Garfield, which is cool. But there's a lot of adults who also love Garfield. And I just sat there going, the story is not the issue of them doing the heist. The story is the lack of context and what it's actually missing out on its storylines and the whiplash that it gets with its emotional avenues and specifically just some of the jokes in here. As I was leaving the movie, it actually kind of sat with me like, I don't know if I should go positive for how memeable it is or if I shouldn't. That memeable Avenue is such a small degree of people who would want to see this movie and that's why I really don't feel comfortable recommending the Garfield film. If you have kids, they'll probably like it. They'll probably be quiet for a couple of hours while you take them to the movies. But I would just recommend that you go and take them to see If or something else maybe coming out later in the year like Inside Out 2, which I have not seen yet, but I imagine will probably be better. Hopefully, at least. I, I need me a good Pixar film. really wanted to like this one, but I found the Garfield movie to just be fine. It blew my mind in certain degrees, and it kind of blew my mind at how memeable it is. But with all that said, I'm going to give Garfield the movie a C-. This one really wasn't my... This one really wasn't my plate full of lasagna. I wish it was, but other than that, I just can't recommend it. So make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed this ramble rant review on the Garfield movie. Again, a movie that I went into open-minded and actually excited to watch and walked away going, what? What did I just watch? Like, why are there so many memes in here? Why are there so many jokes? And why are there so many, like, adult jokes that, like, like, are like they're aiming it towards kids but like as i'm watching this i'm like what are they doing with the cows what are they doing with garfield with the lasagna again funny things maybe just not everything that works so thank you so much again for watching and of course until next time stay classy